Naomi Osaka, the very popular tennis player, pulled out of Roland Garros, the French Open, the tennis clay corn tournament in France, because she refused to do media interviews. Mm-hmm. Before she entered the French Open, she said that she, to protect her mental health, wasn't going to do media interviews. But that's, and that's not just a tennis specific thing, you know, all sports, Mm -hmm. part of your job is to talk to the media. It's part of the job. Uh, It's funny because I do listen to a lot of sports radio and I've heard a lot of talk about this and, you know, I hear announcers that were ex-athletes and I've heard announcers that are just announcers and the takes are definitely different. They're saying, you know, I've heard that this is a very millennial mindset. This is a younger person's mindset that everybody is using the mental health card now to tap out of a lot of things that you're supposed to do. And you're supposed to, you know, you get paid a lot of money. And the reason you get paid a lot of money is that you're the mouthpiece for that sport. You're the product and they're going to pay you millions of dollars to go out there to be the product you need to fulfill that side of it. Her point of view was it's hurting her game and somebody's pointing out what she does wrong. It gets in her head. And then some of the athletes are like, oh, boo hoo, sorry. (laughs) Then fix that part. It's part of the game. So I don't know. I don't know where I stand on it. Am I sitting around watching and waiting for the interviews? Not really. I, I couldn't really care less, but some people do. And the media, they're like, hey, look, we're trying to promote your sport. We're doing you a favor here. We're, we're trying to put eyeballs on what you do and make you relevant and so on and so forth. But it's a really interesting conversation. Should an athlete be able to say, hey, this part of it's not good for me. I don't want to do it anymore. So after she got fined $15,000 and after it became this big media story, she withdrew from the French Open and released a follow-up statement explaining and elaborating, the truth is that I have suffered long bouts of depression since the U.S. Open in 2018, and I have had a really hard time coping with that. Anyone that knows me knows I'm introverted, and anyone that has seen me at the tournaments will notice that I'm often wearing headphones, as that helps dull my social anxiety. Mm -hmm. Though the tennis press has always been kind to me, and I want to apologize, especially to all the cool journalists who I may have hurt, I am not a natural public speaker and get huge waves of anxiety before I speak to the world's media. I get really nervous and find it stressful, blah, 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 blah. She then says that she hopes that, you know, the tournaments can work with her to change the outdated rules. Mm. Like I said at the beginning, any journalist that's asking inappropriate questions or that's being belligerent or bullying in their line of questioning should be removed. Right. But that's not the case. Case is that she just doesn't like doing it because she thinks it affects her game. Well, I don't know. (laughs) I think that's part of the game. It's part of the, it's part of your job when you're in the Oscars you win and then you go to the press room. This is just how things are done. And like I said, I'm not against changing things because it's not like, I'm not that old where, oh, this is how things are done. This is how they're always gonna be. Mm -hmm. 